In today's video, I have a massive box of Yu-Gi-Oh! graded cards. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we are back with another graded card. This is not really a return, but it sort of is a return. I have a box of CGC graded cards from a viewer who wants these consigned. So these are gonna be available on ruxin34.com. If you guys wanna buy any card in this video, it should be on the website at some point. I mean, it might sell. If it sells, it sells. But they will all be for sale on ruxin34.com. I have no idea what's in here. He didn't send me a list at all. So I haven't seen what's in here. We've done this before with PSA cards. And he's like, hey, I got a CGC return. You wanna open it up? I'm like, sure, let's do it. But let's check it out and see if there's any cool cards. All right, this box is huge. As you guys can see, we're gonna cut that right there. This is like a three-handed job right here. Okay, we're gonna cut this little tape i mean honestly i don't know that he ever got it back based on this i think he might have just sent it over here that's possible all right and he sent us a giveaway so it looks like he did uh open that box i was like did he send it straight from cgc we have a five-headed dragon which is a really cool looking card the battles legend hero revenge alternate art i really like it gaga Ga sister dragon master knight secret rare from legendary collection kaiba and ultimate rare first ed dark magician that's pretty nice all you have to do like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below favorite card from this return and what do you think about cgc do you like them i mean somehow they're even more controversial than psa so I don't know. Let me know. Do you like them or not? So here, I just want to show you guys what it kind of looks like in here. Like they put the cards in these little slots, which is pretty cool. It's a little dusty in there, but uh, it's so big. I'm going to have to move this out of the way, but I wanted to show you guys what it's like if you've never done a CGC return. It's kind of, it's a lot different than PSA. They put them in the box and just kind of put them next to each other. They have their own little sl specific slot to pull them out and stuff, which is pretty cool. All right. So uh, I think this is backwards. No, that's backwards. Okay, first card. They used to do different color labels. They don't do that anymore. I actually really like that. I thought that was cool looking, but they changed them up to, uh, honestly, okay, PSA 10 or CGC 10. Sorry, sorry, different company. Honestly, I do not like the new labels compared to the old ones. The old ones are like green and blue and stuff. And now these are kind of just like black and white, kind of boring. Uh, though this is a CGC Gem Mint 10, which is pretty cool. And there's two different Gem Mint 10s, I think, or maybe that... They used to be tutor. I don't know. I've lost it because there used to be 9.5s, used to be subgrades. They don't do any of that anymore. That was kind of the reason I really liked them originally, but I understand why they took that away because that's kind of what helps and hurts BGS. It's nice that you have that option to see all the transparency and everything like that, and you get to see that, but they're like a little bit harsher. So you send your cards off and you get worse grades. So it's kind of like counterintuitive. Like you want to have a great grade because then the value goes up. But if you send it off and it gets a worse grade because they're super harsh and they give you all the subgrades, it actually turns out being worse for you. But it's kind of better for the market that you can kind of see what's there and what the grades are. So it's a really, really weird place to be. So I see why they swapped. All right, so yeah, let me know what you think about that. Uh, should there be subgrades? Uh, the thing is, there's already been so many years of no subgrade PSA and it's been like the dominant leader in the market. It makes it a lot harder to swap up. Like I see why they went away from subgrades because BGS is like, they're they're having a, like if they didn't have black label, that's like really helping them because black label is so popular. But the 9.5s, it's super tough. Okay, let's see what this next card is. Ooh, Dark Magician Girl from the Quarter Century Duelist box. That's pretty nice. CGC 10. Two 10s in a row. I like it. And if you guys haven't noticed, uh, so far all Japanese cards and notice how well they're doing. They're, they're grading really well because they're Japanese cards. They look great. Okay, next card. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We got the gold label. So I think this is the, yeah, this is the pristine 10. So here's the regular 10. It's very confusing. This is just weird. The fact that they have two 10s is weird. I guess the, the color is pretty obvious. For BGS, there's two 10s, but like one it has subgrades. So there's like, be, there's more 10s on that one than the other one. This one is just 10 and 10. Pristine obviously is better because look at it. Cool looking number is gold. So this is really cool. Uh, this pristine 10, I don't know how hard these are to get, you know, because it's hard to keep up with CGC at this point, but I'm guessing that these are, you know, the strict, I mean, I know for a fact, these are the ones where they're the strictest. I don't know how strict that is, but this is a OCG card. So it's probably really, really pristine. Makes sense that I got the, the pristine uh, I guess you just call it pristine 10. So very nice. That's a cool card. Honestly, this gold actually really fits the vibe of this card. I mean, it's like the effect monster and it's got like the shiny. It's just good. That's really nice. Next card. So you will know right, like right away if you get a pristine because it's gold. Okay, we got a nine here. So let's, let's wait, why are we flipping these over? Let's do it like this. Okay, so 10, 10, let's do it like this. That's more fun. Super rare from Speed Duel, I think. No, Asian English. It is Asian English. Asian English Illusions of Dark Magic. What set is this? 2023? Huh, I don't know about this set, but that's pretty cool. It got a nine. Nine's not great so far, but 
I mean, compared to two other 10s. So basically, uh, there's 10, 10, 9. So this is kind of like an 8 almost. Let's see what this next one got. Okay, that one got a 10. It's the same card. Or not the same card, but the same set with the Dark Magician Girl. Very nice. We got a not, or another 10. So three of the regular 10s, one 9, one pristine 10. And remember, if you are interested in any of these cards, check out Ruxin34.com. I have other stuff on there as well, like sealed product and stuff like that, that I can open for you. I can send shipped, whatever. If you do want to open, just send me an email right away, right after you buy it. And uh, then I'll I'll, set, I'll uh, open it up for you. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got, ooh, Pot of Extravagance. That's our first English card. So we've had Asian English. We had Japanese. Now we have Rarity Collection, Pot of Extravagance, Gem Mint 10. That is a nice card. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far, I feel like. Okay, next one. Uh, this is a, man, this shiny little, like, logo. That's, it's like... It reminds me of something. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of something. Okay. Oh, they do have 9.5. So I guess they have 9.5. They just don't do subgrades. So this is really bad. <laughs> Getting a 9 is really rough. That's like a, a 10, 9, 8. That's like a 7 almost. Not really, but uh, they do a little bit more than PSA. PSA is like 10 to 9 is like a huge gap sometimes. So in theory, they do more than PSA. So I kind of like that. This is a 9.5. The thing is, there's no centering grade, but I would expect that the centering is the reason this is a 9.5 because it is pretty small at the top. Okay, beautiful rarity collection card. Okay, next we have 8.5. Oh, man, Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. This is a uh, quarter century card that we never pulled, by the way. And yeah, that sucker is not looking so good. 8.5, that is a rough one so far. That's okay. We got more coming. A lot of quarter centuries, I think, in here. Now, now it's coming back to me. I think he might have said he had a lot of quarter centuries. 8.5 quarter cent. Ooh, that's not great. Valiant Smashers, the combined creation. Okay, two 8.5s in a row. Let's see if we can shake that off. That's not awesome. Let's see about this one. 8.5 on the red eyes. The Mega 10 ones, these are tough. I did grade a bunch of these out of the Mega 10s, and wow, uh, they had a lot of print lines, which I'm not seeing here, but I might be missing it through the slab. But yeah, these were actually pretty tough to grade. I got some 8s on mine in PSA, so... Yeah, those can be rough. Okay, next one is... Ooh, Gem Mint 10, Collector Rare Gate Guardian. Now that is awesome. The Gate Guardian CGC 10, so we're back to the Gem Mints. That's a really cool card. I, you guys remember we did search for this one. We did find this one, so that was fun. Gem Mint 10. The 10 stack is actually the tallest, so that's nice. These are all new cards, so you'd hope they'd be decent. Uh, let's see what the next one is. Apple Magician Girl. I feel like last time, or no, the first time he sent me some PSA cards, he had up all the Magician Girls, and we still have a couple of them available on Ruxin34.com, though none of them were tens, so that's pretty nice. Okay, we need to pick it up. We got a lot of cards left. We got Apple Magician Girl, got a Gem Mint, not Gem Mint, just Mint 9. I'll keep wanting to say PSA. I gotta stop. Not PSA, CGC. Uh, Lemon Magician, so here are all the Magician Girls coming back. Magician Girl fan for sure. Let's see if this is also, is this gonna be the uh, Apple Lemon? What are the other ones? Uh, there's like four other ones. I don't know. Uh, chocolate, of course. That's the popular one. 9.5 Chocolate Magician Girl. So we have gotten two nines, one 9.5 and a 10 on the Magician Girls. Let's see if there's another one right here. Chocolate Gem Minton. That is beautiful. Secret Rare. These are all lower end ones. Let's see if we can get back. Oh, Japanese. Let's see if it's something big. Oh, that is sweet. Light Dragon at Ignister. This is a card we never got. This is the cover card for the Lightning Storm set. Ignition Assault. Yeah. So this is the cover card for us. We did not have a Ghoster. I think it was a super... And it might have had a starlight. Wasn't it a super? Maybe it was a rare. I think it was a super. And I think that was back when the, you would do a rare, a super, an ultra, and a secret as starlights. So you'd have one from each rarity. And I think this got a starlight, but I don't remember seeing this as a starlight though. So maybe not? Now I'm just confused, but no, this is an Xyz card. This is a different card than that one. Maybe. Was that an Xyz card? I can't remember. Okay, I, I really am not sure. We'll pop up the one from Ignition Assault on the screen, but... Uh, I don't remember that being Xyz. This is a beautiful card either way. And it's definitely based off of that monster. It's like the same archetype at Ignister or whatever. But wow, that's a sweet Gem Mint 10 to get for a Ghost Rare. That is amazing. All right, I got confused there, but let's see what the next one is. Ooh, Mega 10 CT14 CGC10. Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean, the fact that it's a Blue Eyes, any Blue Eyes, no matter what it is, PSA 10 is going to do nice. So that is really good. All right. I got a nine on that one. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, we have a 9.5. So nine, 9.5, and 10. So all the grades right there that you could ask for, except the big, big scary gold one. Okay, let's see. 9.5, I said scary. I don't know why it'd be scary. It'd be great. 
uh dark magician of chaos from yugi's world first dead it's actually pretty rare yugi's world first dead not the easiest and there's like 300 cards in that set so getting any specific card so hard i've never pulled the dark magician girl out of there never i think i'm I pulled the demock. I don't think I pulled the demock. Very hard to pull the same, the card you want because there's only five of those packs in the game board, so you're like seven hundred dollars, and then there's three hundred secret rares or something like that. Something ridiculous. Okay, we got a few more cards. Make sure to check out rucks 34com Even if you don't see anything here, there might be something else you want. We got some sealed tens. We got some sealed booster boxes. We got some uh, PSA cards, CGC cards. We got all the stuff. Go check it out. Uh, ooh, master collection. Secret Rare, BLS, Envoy of the Beginning. This is one of the best looking cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. The Master Collection secrets are amazing. And then having a Blackluster Soldier, I mean, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This is good, oh, this is nice. All right, a few more cards here. 8.5's been the worst, 10 pristine's been the best. 9.5 from Yu-Gi's World. Wow, this is a BLS collection, that's awesome. That's a super nice card. Super, I don't know how I said that. Uh, no more pristines yet. Uh, Ultimate Rare 9. Okay, that's a nice card, but not that amazing. Let's see about the next one. Yeah, in terms of grade, not that amazing. Oh, Tomb Kingdom. Oh, Secret Pharaoh Rare. I thought it was the, uh, the, what's it called? The Dragons of Legend 2 one at first, which is also really nice. All right, CGC 10 right there. Next one we have Ib. He always has an Ib too. He had two Ibs before. So there's certain cards that he uh, he grades consistently. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Dark Magician Girl, uh, CGC not or CGC ten, not nine. Very nice. Dark Magician Girl, blue eyes. We're getting a lot of nice stuff. All right, next one. A lot of tens so far. We got an eight point five. Okay, let's just move past that one. Another another eight point five. Not great. A little bit of stuff on there. Uh, nine from the ten. Yeah, as I said, those are really really tough to grade. Really really tough. I'm telling you, they are pretty rough. Let's see what the next one is. A, so, ooh, a 10, wait, back centering is pretty off on that one, I get, wait, no, maybe not, that's just the little, little thing is over top of it, but this card, yeah, CGC 10 out of the 10, 10 out of the 10 is just, oh, it's so hard to say, because I say 10 and 10 the same way, T-I-N and T-E-N, really should say them differently, but it just sounds weird, okay, another card, oh, back to back, CGC gem mint 10s, from the Mega 10, very nice. We've got about eight cards left, something like that. Bunch of nice cards so far. Really good selections of what to grade in terms of like, they're mostly like newer, you know, sometime in the last 10 years. I mean, Yugi's World's getting pretty old at this point, but uh, some of this stuff is like brand new. So pick some good stuff. Dark Magician Girl, another 10. A lot of really solid CGC 10s. No more, where are the pristines at? Oh my. Elemental Hero Neos got the shaft. Sorry, Neos. He was out of the Mega 10, so it's not even like a crazy expensive card, so not the worst. Let's see what else we got. 9.5. That's a little better. 9.5 on the Mega 10 Quarter Century Secret Rare. Much better there to improve the Neos. He deserves better. Here we go. Uh, Exodia CGC 10. That is super nice. Out of the Mega 10 as well. Very, very cool. Jim Mint. Keep them coming. Few more. Another Exodia back-to-back. -back. We don't need to spend too much time on the same card. Let's see what the next one is. He had like two of a lot of the cards. Ooh, Stardust got the shaft. 8.5. That's unfortunate. 8.5 for the Stardust. We still got three more cards. What is left? A 9.5. So 8.5, 9.5. Okay. Wait, no. It's the nine stack. Here we go. Right there. Two cards left. Here we go. What will they be? A 9.5 TG Glave Blaster. 9.5. Okay. And the final card, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure you guys check out Ruxin34.com. We have a lot of cards for sale. And let's see what we have left. Here we go. Ooh, TG over Dragon R. Gem Mint 10. So ending off with a CGC 10. Only one pristine 10. So it looks like they are pretty tough. That was like one out of 50 cards or so. So overall, like, we got a lot of 10s. Uh, I think that he sent every card from his return. This should be a ratio of his normal return. Keep in mind, a lot of these are newer cards. So if you send in older cards, it'll be tougher. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out ruxin34.com. Shout out to Tolan Po Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.